Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. I'm back and I'm better. I had to take a little bit of time off of all those videos. But this one is going to be for my fire signs. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What the fuck is up with y'all? So far we have the Star in Reverse, Seven of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Sun card. I'll clarify those and then we'll get into what they mean exactly. Where did that even go? So first you have the star in reverse clarified by the knight of swords in reverse. So there's something that you expect it to come through. What category of life this is in is yet to be seen. But whatever it is, you're feeling like it's not going to come either in the way that you thought it would come or by the time that you needed it to come. Seven of cups in the moon card though. Spirit is saying this is actually a protection. It was not going to be what you expected even if it came exactly the way that you expected because you just don't have enough information on whatever this is. Eight of Wands clarified by the hangman in reverse. Now this does not necessarily mean that it's something you shouldn't have at all. This just isn't the right time for it. So I think I know what your title is gonna be. Respect Divine Timing. So they're really just urging you to remember what the sun card and the three of pentacles that this is for your highest benefit it's not a punishment that you can't do what you want to do right now or that things aren't working out for you it's just if it was to come right now like it wasn't going to be what you thought it would be and it would actually make your mental worse which would make the other things harder in your life so sometimes it just takes stepping back and remembering that everything is always happening for you never to you your overall word of the week, preserve. I'm hearing hold steady, even though this says preserve in a way that somehow those two align, like preserve your energy, hold steady because what you want is coming. So you don't want to like waste energy settling on something else. And then let's get something from your ancestors and we will get out of here. You have the crumbling and answer the call. So part of this too is just to help you avoid things that are going to get in the way of you fulfilling your mission here. There's something very important that you should be doing and they're trying to cut out any distractions so that you can get there as smooth as possible. So reiterating again, like this is for your highest benefit. You're not in trouble. You're not like necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just your ancestors protecting you in a way that doesn't feel that good to you right now. But that's what I have for you guys. If anything resonated, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, June 3rd is the last day to pay for the spell class, the 10-week spell class that starts on June 11th. So if you're interested in that, definitely head to the website for more information. I also have a free tarot group on Facebook if you want to learn how to do tarot. I'll put that in the description box too. And then of course, if you want a reading, a personal reading on anything in your situation, you can book with me through the link in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.